In many ways, the computer is like a newborn baby. And trying to carry on a conversation with it involves the same sort of problems. First of all, it doesn't understand a word you're saying, simply because it doesn't know any words. You have to teach it all of its vocabulary, syllable by syllable. The second conversational problem shared by both babies and computers is that even when they have learned to talk, they don't have much to talk about. Because for that, you need experience. And here's where babies and computers part company. As it grows up, a baby will acquire more and more mental experience. But not only that, it will also acquire more and more physical experience. It will learn how to hold things, how to walk, how to sit on chairs, and it will acquire emotional experience as well. How to be angry, how to be happy, how to be sad. And so as we grow older, we human beings share a richer and richer mental, physical, and emotional context in which to talk about things. Not so the poor computer. We may program a certain amount of our mental experience into it, but we can never give it any physical experience. It will never learn how to sit on a chair, for example, because it has nothing to sit on a chair with. It has no body. Nor will the computer ever acquire any emotional experience. It will never learn how to be angry, or happy, or sad, because it has no emotions or feelings or sentiments of any kind. So the only way that we could enable a computer to be as good at conversation as a real, live, adult human being would be to write a program which contained not only a whole lifetime of mental experience, but descriptions of a lifetime of physical and emotional experience as well. Such a program would probably go on forever. But until it is written, the computer has no guideposts to help it understand the world. It floats in a sort of limbo with no points of reference whatever. To give just one simple example, if it comes across a phrase such as this, even if all these words have been programmed into its memory, it still can't understand this phrase. Because like nearly all human language, it's ambiguous. It might signify one thing to a poet and quite another thing to a lover of insects. And of course, the computer has no experience of either poetry or insects. That's its trouble. It has no experience of anything. It's a newborn baby that never grows up.